I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I'm going to force myself to play hands in pre-selected categories. This way, I won't be playing my favorites. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have a strip for every category on the card. We're going to pick three, and then I'm going to do some Charleston modeling, playing hands in only these categories. Well, the categories that we pick. Consecutive run, three, six, nine, like numbers. Let's roll the dice and see which seat we're going to be in. I rolled an 11, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're a west. Player three. That means we're non dealer. I'm going to get 13 tiles and then I'm going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers. This will be interesting because we have no multiples. So let's see what we can use the most of here. We do have a lot of two, three, four, or two, four, six, eight. We have a gap though, no eight or no six. We have no six. So I think one, two, three, four consecutive run. One, two, three, four. Look at all the one, two, three, four we have. If we get nines, we might be able to play a year hand. Let's pass these three. Let's focus on consecutive run, maybe like numbers with twos. We have all the twos. Let's pass these. We got consecutive tiles. One tile to pass. This is when you have to pick a hand. So we have one through six. That range is too high. There are no ranges in consecutive run that span six numbers. One, two, we could do one, two, three, four. We could do two, three, four. Let's give up the one and stick with two through six or two through five. We need another tile to pass. I think I would keep the dragons because we could play maybe something with cracks and the dragon or like numbers with twos. So let's stick with consecutive run and pass these three. No keepers. We did get a nine. I still see potential in here for a year, but really a pretty big long shot. We got a flower and we got a multiple. We got a seven dot. Since we formed here a multiple, we should reassess. This is gonna be the strength right here. I don't pass flower, so I'm keeping that. I'd like to leverage the, the dragons if we can. So if we do something with the two, there are like number hands we could play or two suit, two or three suit ranges, two, three, four, like numbers with fives, last hand under consecutive run. We could do two, one, two, three, with like numbers with fours. We do have all the fours. One, two, three, with fours, fourth hand down. We don't have any ones though, that's a gap. Two, two, three, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four with twos. This would be uh, the concealed hand. 
we would have to pair up. We need a one crack and get rid of the four because the pairs have to match the pungs. Let's give up on a four. One, two, three, four. Let's keep the four crack. Maybe even the five crack. Two through five. We'd have to throw away a pair of twos though. Let's give up the four dot. Let's give up the four bam and the five crack. We can't keep it all. I'd rather see about playing like numbers with twos. Let's pass these. We got a red, so that's another multiple. And we got a three. We have one tile to pass. So we have two through four and a pair of dragons. I'm thinking like numbers with twos or the concealed hand. We need a one crack. Okay, let's pass these three. Flower. So maybe two, three dragons, or if we get a two, oh, nope, this is the wrong two. Oh, I still think like numbers looks good, but now we have like numbers to pass. I would not pass that. So here we have flowers. There is a like number hand with flowers, and we have all the twos. Let's give up a white dragon and keep the option for two, three dragons and the flower. Let's pass these three. No keepers. But we have tiles to pass for optional cross. No keepers. Four discards. I think we're in between like numbers or like numbers or two, three dragons. We have way too many discards to even count. I think um, probably the like number option is best because we have two options. For the consecutive run hand, we have only one, two, three dragon. So I would say five discards and we're in between like numbers with dragons or like numbers with flowers. This was a bit challenging. If you would have done something differently here, let me know in the comment section below. I think I would call this for like numbers and I would pursue that category. We have two options. Just play pick by pick and go with whatever comes in strongest. Use the pair that we don't use for joker bait. If you want to know more about joker bait, look for a link below the video to a, another set of videos that explain how it works. Basically, you can try to get a joker in an exposure with pairs that you're not going to use. So we're going to go on to the next one, and this time consecutive run or 369. I rolled a six, so we're going to be player two. I think clearly we need to do 369. We have no threes though. Let's give up a wind one at a time. We got a three. 
pair of fives. We're going to break that up. So we're playing three, six, nine. You don't even really have to pick a hand because we've got discards. So we're just going to gather every three, six, nine. Or if any dragons come in, there's one hand in mixed suits that uses a dragon. It's knitted though, and we have nines and sixes. I don't think a dragon's going to help here. We'd have to throw away a pung. Or no, we'd have to throw away one six if we get a red dragon and a three dot, but that's a big if. No keepers. Let's pass one of each suit. We got a red dragon. One of each suit. Dragon. We can pass these tiles. Three dot. We have two tiles to pass. Three, six, three, nine. Maybe the knitted hand. Three dot, six crack, nine dot, red dragon. The dragon matches the middle number. That would be the third hand down. So if we get a three bam though, I think three bam six nine would be better. Let's give up the three crack. I really don't like passing white dragons because they're a dual tile as a dragon or a zero. So I really try not to pass it unless I have to. We got a three dot, six bam. I don't think that's gonna be helpful. I think it would be pretty safe to play the knitted hand. Three, six, nine, dots, cracks, dots. Actually, the convention this year is Kong, Pung, Kong, Pung. So we really don't have to get rid of that six. I was thinking of last year's hand, I think. I don't even remember. I think it was a Pung. I don't know what I was thinking. I think for optional cross, because we have no gaps, I would risk passing a white dragon to get a full pass. No keepers. So we have four discards for 369 knitted. That would be the third hand down. If you've never heard of the term knitted, it just means that you have one suit in your first block, second block in a second suit, third block in the first suit, and then the matching dragon for the second suit. That's called knitted. No gaps, which is nice. All we really need here is a three dot and a red dragon because we could Kong here. So we just need to build up and we can use jokers if we have to. Four discards. So I would call it then four, three, six, nine. Now we're gonna do consecutive run. a 10 2 4 6 8 10 so we're number two player two non-dealer Pair green dragons, fives and eights, five, eight, five, eight green. If I were not forcing a hand, I might consider addition as a long shot. We have a gap with no flowers though. We do have a three here though. So 
since we're forcing a hand, I would not consider addition. So five, eight, that's a four number range in one suit or two suits, five, six, seven, eight. We could maybe do five, six, seven. Nope, nope, we can't. There's no hand in here that uses four numbers in a range except for one, five through nine, the very first one. That's kind of our only option, either that or break it, one of these up. In which case I might keep the two, three and give up on the eight. So let's give up these and go for either two through five or five through nine. We got a white dragon and a three. So now we have two multiples here. I think at this point, I would focus on one through five. We really could, don't even want to use that dragon. There's no knitted hand for consecutive run. So these dragons are not going to help. Let's break it up. Let's just keep the eight just in case we get five through nine. There's a nine and tiles to pass. No keepers. Oh, we got a pair of threes. Okay, now I would focus on two through five, one through five, mixed suits. I wouldn't even pick a hand here. Let's pass these three. The reason I wouldn't go with the first hand, five through nine, is because we have two gaps, no, no six or seven. Flower and a four. We do have tiles to pass. Let's see if there's any hands with flowers that we could use. I think really three, four, five with the flower maybe, third hand down, or one through five, first hand. I think we could probably give up the three crack. It's very light with cracks. Let's break it up, pass these. Whoa, pair. We don't want to pay that forward. No keepers. Optional cross. We got the green back. So for this one, we could maybe play four or five dragon. That would be the fifth hand down. Or we could play one through five. We've got a gap of no one. That would be the first hand. Or we could play three through five Kongs. Third hand down. I think that's the strongest. We could use this to help with the four. So probably what I would do is keep everything consecutive in dots. Keep the white in case more fours come in. Discard these first in this order. Get rid of the wind, then the dragon, then the one. I'd get rid of year tiles if you're not going to use them because of the big hand, the 75 point hand on the card and then get rid of that last and just build up the sequence. So we got consecutive run with four discards, really probably five discards.
two of those were really challenging five discards one of them I think had six but I believe the one with six had no gaps so if you can get to four discards after the Charleston that's a really strong start for the pick and discard phase of the game if you have no gaps and five discards that's pretty good too if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.